we're going to be teaching you the first step into training a camel and it might not be what you think. Russell. And we're from camelconnection.com and we want to share with you the absolute first step, like the thing that we teach all our students to start off with when they train a camel. Our training method is a systematic approach, um, a step-by-step -step approach and you can go, uh, you go up levels and if need be you can come back to reinforce what you've actually done in the previous lessons. So yeah, it's a systematic approach and this is a very first step. And what you'll notice here is we're actually not inside the camel training yard because that isn't the first step. A lot of people assume that the first step to training a camel is getting a halter on, getting the leading happening or getting the sitting happening, but it's absolutely not. And especially if you follow the, um, the values that we follow with that connection and trust building exercises. Well, talking about trust, the whole system does operate on trust. Okay, so the trust of you being in their presence to start with, you're actually building on your trust bank. Okay, so that later on when you're going up the levels, if there's something that... Uh, the levels of asking. The, the levels of asking and the levels of training of the camel and the training of yourself. If there's something there that, you know, is a little bit challenging, okay, you can draw on the trust bank. And so just by standing here, getting the camels used to you, getting them to, to, as you could see before with, um, who is it behind me? Coco. Coco. Okay. All right. Um, he came down and gave me a sniff, even if it's a fresh green camel. Okay. You're in a safety zone here, all right, behind the rail. All right. So you're not in the yard with the camel. All right. And the camel's getting used to your presence. And you're not forcing yourself upon the camel. And this is the most important thing here. Mm. And the reason why this works so well is because we are basically replicating what they would do in their natural camel herd environment. We are the camel. We're just transferring that to us being humans. So in a in a normal environment, if there's a new camel being introduced, you know, they will they will sort of sniff around and you know, maybe they have an argument. I mean, that's what camels do. But when it comes to humans, they're curious. Mm. They want to get to know you. They want to connect with you. And that is so evident in their herd environment. They they have relationship uh, clusters in their herd environment. And so all we're doing is taking what we, our observation of a camel herd environment and putting it into um, training and handling so they can quickly understand what we're asking of them. Well, it's the very beginning, okay? Building on that trust. Even though you're not really doing anything, but believe you me, are. inside the <laughs> mind of the camel, okay, you are, you, you, you're breaking down some barriers. It's a very human thing, isn't it? That like, oh, if we're not physically doing something, yeah. that we're not doing anything at all. But this achieves great achievements. Like we start all our students off here. It's like, this is your star. You need to connect with the camel. And that involves hanging out with the camel and just pretend that all these camels here were freshly from the wild. We would literally just come around and hang outside the yard, pick up sticks as you say, yeah, pick up you know, sticks. and just say hello and, make, and just maybe turn our back and wait for a sniff. That's if we weren't in a rush to get a camel train. Now, if it's a different story and you, you've got a project in mind, you've got to get from A to B, then it's slightly different, but this step still isn't skipped. It's mm. just kind of sped up a little bit. Yeah. What's got to be remembered is, is that, you know, it's not like you're buying something from the shop and off the shelf. <laughs> okay. Hello, girl. Oh, um, yeah, it, it, it's a lifelong process it's a lifelong relationship that you're going to be having with this animal or that animal's going to be having with humans or oh, with humans if yeah, there's yeah. someone training it going to give it to somebody else sure. there's still that long-term relationship with humans well yeah that's right and, and so it's not necessarily just for your own camels if you're tra training camels for other people well yeah what i've found is that uh you know doing this you're setting it up so that there's a level of trust of human beings. And without it, without it, then trying to get that trust back afterwards, 
okay if you go in for a more of a okay I've got to get things done now so I've got to get the ropes on I've got to get the the halters on I've got to get them sitting down uh, without building up a trust bank beforehand and then trying to get that trust afterwards that's the difference okay? it is a bit more of a challenge yeah it, like if you're just do 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 and then try to build the trust and connection afterwards it is a lot hard I'm not sure if that's a right word but it's a more of a you have to break through more barriers it seems it's uh, well it goes against my values anyway I mean mm. I want the camels to be we want a relationship I want, a, I want the relationship with the animal and uh, knowing full well that when I when I first started in camels I knew full well that for the rest of my life I was going to have those camels in my life and so that was way back in the early 2000s when I got three of these camels and I knew full well that no matter what happened in life I was going to do everything I possibly could to one make sure that they're safe what number two now? that they're happy and well fed and well watered and all that sorts of things you know that would worm them and blah 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 all the things that you have to do um, but three that that relationship I've built on and continuously built on and uh, and so yeah this process of, of just simply building up that trust bank before you even start the procedures mm. um, and it, it paid dividends and your job we always say this time and time again in to all our students in virtual camel school and in our in-person courses people who are part of our community your job j-o-b <laughs> of a cameleer a handler uh, a carer whatever however you identify yourself as a person who is with camels all the time or regularly your job is to eliminate their fear of mm. humans basically yeah look i mean i'll give you a bit of a story if you like um i've done a lot of work in disabilities with disabilities um with mental health um with um caring work um old age um you know young age um but there was one fella and of course i won't mention names but he had a revolving door of carers in his house because everyone was going in there and telling him what to do all the time mm. this was a man uh, that we we're talking about he had um, uh, disabilities mental and physical disabilities but people went in there and told him what to do right from the word go from the very day one fortunately um you know I'd, I'd actually work this out with the camels and i thought well look i'll try it with this guy <laughs> not that i was going it's to a, try to hush him down it's or a lot of it's transferable from camel it, to humans it is and so i stood back when i entered that house i introduced myself hello how are you um, um you know i'm here to help you um let's see if we can work things out together um and i'll just be pottering around today and we'll get to know each other I spent a week just getting to know him. I didn't ask him to do anything. Um, I suggested some things, certainly, um, you know, that we needed to do. But what I did in that week was I built up a trust bank. And to cut a long story short, he and I became best mates. And, and the department actually kept ringing me saying is everything okay we're not hearing from you we're not sending the police around we're not doing these things i said we're having a ball i'll call you if we're having a problem and and but it was only because we built up this trust bank first that we were able to then maneuver into a life where he was getting value and he was learning as well some life skills and and we we just had that relationship this is truly no different okay and, and i think it really exaggerates that point can you just go in and start asking a camel to sit and lead and put a headstool on all this yes absolutely you can. you can but what are you sacrificing in that process what is your end goal are you here listening to us because you want that relation i mean we are called camel connection <laughs> if, because you want that relationship mm. with the camel that you want them honestly they're like big dogs you know they do end up being your best mates mm. they don't sleep on your bed at night but you know they would if they could they actually sleep i noticed they do sleep quite as close as they can to the house which mm. is really interesting mm. um 
you know so this this is like what is your end goal do you want a relationship with these beautiful magnificent animals that so deeply want to connect with you and they want to trust you it's just some camels might have that you know a little bit of fear around that or well, all camels have fear around that initially so our job is to eliminate that fear as much as we possibly can and that is an ongoing journey mm. the camel's never not going to have fear they have to have fear they're, they're, it's like humans you know we We've don't evolve not to have fear we all you know it's for our own safety a lot of the time um so this is your absolute first step on how to train a camel mm. and it seems like well you're not doing anything no that's the whole point it's another story <laughs> okay so i was hired once to train camels um for a riding operation this is many many years ago um in alice springs and they'd uh, the people had heard about me and heard about uh, the mythology that I'd been uh, learning and uh, the mythology that I'd used and so uh, met them you know great great day here we go so had a bit of a chat and a coffee at first and then uh, there were some camels in the yard and they were the ones that I was going to be training and they said okay well I suppose it's better time that we get to work I said yeah yeah better, better time I get to work I put my coffee down I walked over to the yards and I could feel them burning you know with their eyes looking up <laughs> oh, what's he going to do you know is he going to use a rope trick is he going to you know grab their heads and pull it down using a rail method or what's Hero he going to do <laughs> what, what's he going to do and I climbed up onto the rail and I sat there I sat there for half of the day just watching the camels, the camels come up to me occasionally, you know, had a bit of a sniff and walked away and I was just in their presence. Mm. And so what I was doing was building that trust bank to start with. I'd already started work uh, and it is work when it comes to effective camel training using trust based training. Uh, you're building the trust. Hmm. And, and you've got to keep that in mind the entire time. This works also for camel, like if you've already got a trained camel and maybe you bought it off somebody else, like, and this girl is actually a perfect example, we bought her as a, as a trained camel and I say that in quotes because there's no standards for hmm. trained camels and um, she wasn't as trained as, as it was sort of made out. Um, but with her, it turned out like with any camel that enters our lives, we start from here. Mm -hmm. We start from the rail. It doesn't matter who's told us about the history or what we've known about their history mm -hmm. it starts here mm -hmm. even if uh we, uh we've had a couple of older camels that are very very experienced years and years of doing certain things mm -hmm. but we still start here because mm -hmm. it's like it's like having a new friend in your life you just mm -hmm. don't go you know doing you know getting into intimate conversations straight away it's like okay let's build on that trust bank let's build on the relationship Mm. And camels totally appreciate yeah well that. you put it like that about your friendships too your human friendships it's the same thing you don't launch into your friendship immediately mm. look might happen um, I suppose it's happened to me a couple of times in my life but um, but yeah you don't launch into your, your 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 friendship and your relationship to start with you know as that builds then you get to do more things with each other you get to know more intimate stuff you know you yeah 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 all that sort of thing and mm. that, that, so, yeah, your relationship with your animal is very much the same mm. very mm. much the same and of course, if you want to take this further and want to learn the ins and outs and the doing side of camel training, the sitting, the leading, and of course we talk a lot about connection, trust and bond building, and to be honest, uh, that's all weaved into asking them to sit. That's all weaved into asking them to lead. You can't lead a camel successfully if you don't trust them and they don't trust you. You're in for a lot of trouble there mm -hmm. with, you know, camels playing up, all the, playing up in quotes all the time. Uh, like all the things but we cover all of these things in virtual camel school so if you do feel inspired to take it further of course we'll welcome you there as a new student um, and it, also it doesn't matter where you're at in your camel journey like we said maybe you're considering buying buying camels maybe you have a camel you haven't done much with it maybe you've had a camel for 17 years and you're like yeah hey, i'm still missing something mm. then you know We've, we've dealt with all those kinds of students in virtual camel school and um, every day it's we come back to that connection and trust building and that is this exercise. <laughs> mm, look at this girl. She, she loves me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks guys, catch you later. 
how would you like to learn the five essential skills that you need to know in order to train and handle camels? And we bet you already have one of these skills. We are teaching just this in our no charge camel training webinar coming up soon. Whether you've been in the camel game for a while or you're new to the world of camels, you're in exactly the right place to learn all about how to train and handle camels in a connected and in a non-dominating way. Don't miss your opportunity to join the Camel Connection Camel Training Webinar where we guarantee you'll learn something new. Register now so you don't miss out. Visit camelconnection.com forward slash camel training live to reserve your place on this free webinar. Introduce ourselves, but you never do that. We just assume mm. people know it. Okay, right, so another story. <laughs> okay, is this going to be quick? This, this is highlights <laughs> it, yeah, it is going to be quick. Okay.